Happy Wednesday, y'all. It's been a busy day. I believe that's what I thought. It's 2 o'clock in the afternoon. I have spent all day pulling tables out, getting uh, the table set up for Thanksgiving. I'm trying to think ahead um, so I don't have so much to do leading up to Thanksgiving next week. I can concentrate on more preps and baking and things like that. So I did heavy furniture polishing, clean ceiling fans, did chickens and rabbits and all of that in the mix of it. Windex the windows in and out because, you know, we've had a lot of wind and rain. But y'all, last night we lost power. There was no wind. There was no rain. There was nothing. And it got cold. Let's see, I'm thinking it went off 2-ish, 2.30. It was back on at a quarter to 6. But we woke up about 3.30 with it. Because we, Buddy has a, a mass that he sleeps in. And, of course, that woke him up because he has no airflow. And so that woke me up. I was like, uh-oh. He didn't say a word. He went out, he got that little uh, tailgate generator. I heard him crank it. He run the cord through the door. Y'all, he plugged it in the coffee pot. And he didn't say a word. <laughs> he went and pulled our water jugs from out back so we could utilize the restroom. And I said, you know, <laughs> he's thinking, uh-oh, she's cold. We all electric. I gots to get her some coffee going. And then I will live through this. <laughs> Cause I'm on the phone trying to punch, calling the light company, hey. And you know, it's all automated. And then you're half asleep. Yeah, he took care of me. He got the coffee pot going. But that's what I've been doing. And I was fixing to make the cornbread for the cornbread dressing next week. I like to make it a week in advance, let it get room temperature and dry, and then I uh, package it and I put it in the freezer. So I thought, you know, why don't I share? A lot of you may do cornbread dressing. This is how I pre-prep mine. I'm making sure my butter over there ain't burning. But I got the oven preheated at 425. I'm gonna move my skillet off for a little bit so I can run through all the ingredients. And then we're gonna go to the stove because we got some cooking to do. But this is my base. And then when I mix my dressing, of course I'll add my chicken broth and we do put boiled eggs in ours. You don't have to. But I'll try to remember to go ahead and film if it's not so chaotic of what else I mix. But if I don't, at least, the ones that do cornbread dressing, this can be your base starter, and then you just tweak it and fluff it, as I put it, and then cook it and serve it the way you would do it, but this is a good baseline. So, I'm gonna drop the camera. Let's knock this out. I still got supper to do. It's probably gonna be chicken enchiladas. Mm-hmm. I done canned some chicken. Yeah, and I'm thinking, I'll make some Mexican rice, put that in there. Kind of like a, a one skillet dinner. It's the only thing I can come up with and I ain't got much time, so let me zip it. Let's get this cornbread, what would we call it? Cornbread dressing prep. Now that sounds stupid. I'll come up with some. <laughs> yeah, y'all can see. To this bowl, I've got two cups of self-rising cornmeal mix. This is White Lily. Um, it's what I had open, that's what I'm gonna use. And it's two cups. I'm gonna be feeding about 15, 16 people, but I already have a small uh, cornbread in the freezer, so I'll bulk it up. But this is, this will make a good amount. But this is two cups of self-rising cornmeal mix. There is a heaping tablespoon of sugar. 
okay? Now, to this dry, I'm gonna add my pepper. Now remember, this is gonna be to taste. A little salt, not a lot of salt, because we're gonna be adding chicken broth when I get ready to actually cook it. I'm gonna add my clucking good. Let me get a spoon. This is celery seed. I'm, I'm measuring, guys, about a half a teaspoon. This is dried parsley that I dried, and I'm gonna put two teaspoons. Now, this is just in a jar that I had, but this is poultry seasoning. I'll try to remember to put the video. Oh, it was back in the day. I make my own poultry seasoning without sage. I'm allergic to sage. So if you're interested, I'll try to remember to put that in there. I'm gonna put one, two teaspoons. I'm smelling it. Yeah, two teaspoons, perfect. This is our dry ingredients. But yeah, I, I mean, poultry seasoning is so easy to make, but I'm just not able to have sage. So I came up with my own recipe years ago, and I, I do believe I did a video at our old place. Now, to this, I'm gonna add a fourth of a cup of vegetable oil, a one and one fourth cup, half buttermilk, half regular milk. That was one and one fourth cup. And two large beaten eggs. And we're just gonna get this well and combined. Okay, we're just gonna let this sit here and let's go to the stove. I had to put my iron skillet back on the stove eye. So, we've got that mixed, it's sitting over there. Now we gotta saute our vegetables. Make sure you preheat your oven to 425. And I've got a stick of butter melted in this skillet. I've got celery, sweet onion, and celery leaves. This is out of my garden, the tops of the celery. And that is a cup and a half of finely diced celery and two cups of sweet yellow onion. Now I'm sitting on about a number four and we're gonna let these saute and get very soft. I don't want a crunchy vegetable. So we're gonna go low and slow. Now this went about 20 minutes. You see how tender? Now I didn't add salt. I didn't wanna pull moisture. I wanted them just to low and slow caramelize that's gonna bring all the sweetness out. Now, in the same skillet, we're gonna add the cornbread mix that we made. Now, I would be doubling this, but since I already have one in the freezer, I only made a single batch. But if you don't have an extra one, I would recommend doubling this um, if you're planning on feeding a crowd. Now, I'm not gonna stir this in. I'm just gonna let it find its way. Okay. Trying to bring it all to the side. I could have used a smaller skillet, but that's okay. Perfect. It's gonna go in the oven at 425 till golden brown. It just come out the oven and you see the good golden brown color, and all of them vegetables are at the bottom. I'm gonna let it completely cool before I dump it out. I say dump it out, but flip it out. And then I've got a very large, um, we used to use them for crawfish platters. I'm gonna actually put it onto there because those vegetables, because I didn't fold it in and I didn't wanna fold it in, they will be moist and sitting on top. Think about like a pineapple upside down cake. And then once it gets room temperature and I flip it out onto that, I'm gonna wrap that whole container in foil. 
I'm gonna set that into the freezer and it's gonna be fine. That is gonna be my base for my cornbread dressing. And like I said, I'll add my other, it's a medium size, it's just a pan of cornbread. I'll add that and then I will add a few saltine crackers, chicken broth, uh, boiled eggs. I don't add chicken to my dressing. Um, family don't like it. So that's basically all I'm gonna do. Um, but like I said, if I can remember, I will go ahead. I mean, it'll be too late, but at least y'all can see how I mix it. I do like a moist dressing. I don't like a crumbled dressing. I don't want a wet dressing, just moist. And that really depends on how much substance you're trying to add the chicken broth to. So uh, it's kind of like an eyeball, to be honest. I don't have exact measurements, but this I did measure for y'all. So like I said, the ones that do cornbread dressing, if you've never pre-seasoned your cornbread and sauteed your onions and celery, I, I would say try this. And plus it cuts out a lot of work and those flavors are just amazing. Now I will pull it out probably, if we eat it too, I'm gonna pull it out of the refrigerator about six in the morning, I mean out of the freezer about six in the morning. By eight o'clock, it's gonna be thawed. I can crumble it up. Now I don't like mine mushed, I like pieces. Um, and then go ahead and get it mixed up and then it'll go in the oven when I'm ready for it. But that's how I start mine. And like I said, it's a week. Today's Wednesday, so a week and a day. Um, and that's what I'm gonna be doing is different preps leading up to Thanksgiving so it's not so hard, you know, on one person. So I hope your day is going good. I'm waiting on my rice to finish. I just took some yellow rice. I added some green chilies. I added just a little bit of diced jalapeno. I would say about two tablespoons of Rotel without the juice and some cumin. And I use chicken broth for the rice instead of water. So I'm letting it finish. And well, I'll just show you what I'm working with. How's that? Here's my sour cream sauce with Monterey Jack cheese. I've got green chilies in here and a little bit of jalapeno, cumin, and black pepper. This was my canned chicken. I did add some of the sauce to it. I added some Monterey Jack cheese to it. And that's, that's all I've done. It's very simple. That's for the topping. Here's our tortillas. And then here is our pan and I added some sauce at the bottom so they won't stick. So when the rice gets done, I'll fluff it. I'm gonna lay a little bit of rice down, the chicken mixture, fold it up, pour the sour cream sauce on it, top it with the cheese. I will put some foil on it and I'm gonna bake it about 20, 25 minutes with the foil on so everything's good and bubbly. I'll take the foil off and I will top it with some more, with this cheese. Um, and then just let the cheese melt and it's done. So 30 minutes and it's done. But I find that if I cover it with foil for about 20 minutes, the sides doesn't get dry. Everything stays moist. And then like I said, I uncover it, top it with some cheese, let it melt, and we're off to the races for supper. So I hope you enjoyed. Well, what are we gonna call it? I don't know, I'll come up with something. But I hope you enjoyed my pre- Prep cornbread dressing. That does have a ring. <laughs> but as always, stay safe, stay well, and God bless. And I'll see you on the next one.